Hey, what's up? Ian here. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my um, review for this Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light 8BA uh, per side IEM. Now, before I start, I'd like to thank Linso for sending this to me, making this video possible. However, please note that everything I say in this video is my own opinion. It is not scripted and Linso will be watching this video with us. So the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light is now retailing for 249 US dollars and if you are interested do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below so as usual in this video i'll go through the accessories the fit and comfort the design and build quality and i'll share with you guys my sound impression of this im but don't worry this video will be time stamped so please feel free to skip around all right so let's uh, first start off with the accessories and it comes in a very nice box like this and the im is printed so big here uh, and this im comes in two colors green or blue and the one printed on the box is green and the one that they sent to me is blue so you can see the difference in the color I prefer the blue of course and then on the side here you do get some specifications so, so let's quickly go through that uh, there are eight drivers as I mentioned two handle the high uh, four handle the mid and two handle the low the frequency range is 20 to 20,000 Hertz the impedance is 16 ohms and the sensitivity is 112 now inside the box you will find of course a user guide okay and a carrying case so this is a hard shell case uh, on the inside you do have a mesh pocket and it's felt inside so you can well put the IM inside it doesn't scratch your IM and it's uh, got a zipper okay so a very nice carrying case and ear tips you get uh, three different types of ear tips uh, you've got the uh, normal ear tip silicone ear tip and then you got your base booster ones okay the black color ones and then you got your treble ear tips right so these are a bit narrower in terms of the ball right so three different types of ear tips and the cable right the cable is very nice it's got a it's a four core link braided cable and it's a ofc 7n uh, cable very nice cable the cable is got good form good body it doesn't tangle even if it tangles it's easy to untangle okay and it's terminated with a straight type 3.5 headphone jack with velcro and the y splitter and the chin slider is normal it's plastic chin slider and then the ear hooks is kind of soft yeah very nice and soft ear hooks with a two pin connector okay now let's talk about the IM itself. IM is very very nice. I like the look of this IM. It looks very majestic. Okay, very majestic. Uh, the faceplate is really nice. It's got this um, marble effect, and on the inner shell, it's got like a clear resin finish, and you can see everything inside this shell. Uh, and the nozzle is built in as well. It's got a fin. Uh, it's got nice curves and contours to it. So very nice shell overall and you can see the base uh, BA you can see the crossovers as well here and the mids uh, BA okay all very nice yeah I like the shell uh, one thing is there's no vent all right so um, yeah there's no vent to this IEM and it does give you a very good seal okay so uh, in terms of fit and comfort uh, it gives me a very good fit very good um, yeah it goes into my ear very well the nozzle is not too long and also uh, gives me a very good seal right so um, so make sure you are aware of your environment when you wear this the seal is really good you cannot hear your outside environment or you can hear a bit but it's not by a lot right so that's for the fit and comfort now let's talk about the sound and this is the graph that I measured okay so uh, before I talk about the sound, let's talk about the technicalities. Uh, so basically, right in terms of price to performance, two hundred and forty nine US dollars. I find that uh, it performs well above its price point. Uh, usually for pure BA IEMs, uh, I can hear the BA timbre, but on these, right, I can't tell that these are pure BAs. In fact, if you don't tell me that they are pure BAs, just put them in my ear. Uh, I can't tell that it's pure BA, right? So uh, it, it's very good performing IEM and it's well worth the price. Even though it's a bit expensive, lah, but if you can save up, I do suggest to get this IEM, right? So let's talk about the um, technicalities, like the soundstage. Soundstage is actually normal. It's not too wide, not too narrow. 
uh, it's got good layers, right? Very well separated in terms of imaging. I can uh, pinpoint the location of the instruments. I can separate the sound really well. Vocals, percussions, instruments, they're all well separated. Uh, in fact, in busier tracks, right, I still can separate the sound. So a very good performing uh, sound separation on this. For detail retrieval, it's okay uh, because of the treble right it doesn't retrieve much of the detail most of the um, hi-hats and the cymbal strikes they are not really detailed lah. but for the mids they are very detailed and the bass as well uh, resolution on this is fantastic uh, very clean very clear uh, and yeah overall a very resolving im for the tone and timbre for this right it's um, as i mentioned uh, because this is a pure BAIM, uh, it doesn't sound like a pure BAIM. It does have that warm and natural sounding tone and timbre to it. And the note weight is surprisingly quite heavy, right? So a uh, pretty good sounding IM. And uh, yeah, I like the tone and timbre on this, even though it's a pure BAIM. Now let's talk about the sound signature. And as you can see, right, this, um, Treble is recessed, right? So if you look at the entire uh, frequency, it's kind of flat, but it's just that the mids is also recessed. So there's not much of a bass boost, not much of a treble boost. That gives the, the mids a bit more space to shine. But in terms of overall listening experience, this sounds uh, pretty smooth. And in fact, there are a lot of IEMs that has got this type of uh, tuning, a very casual, a very fun, uh, listening experience okay it's not very detailed but it's fun right it's not sibilant it's not harsh and it's not shouty as well okay now let's talk about the sub bass sub bass has got good extension it's rumbly the rumble is warm heavy note weight and it's fun right very easy to listen to type of sub bass uh, the mid bass is punchy good impact and it's fast as well so because of the balance armature is a bit different from dynamic drivers uh, for dynamic drivers they've got some distortion uh, but for this this uh, mid bass i don't hear any distortion and it's fast and very clean delivery of that mid bass okay for the lower mids lower mids instruments they sound very clean very clear it's got good note weight as well warm sounding uh, casual sounding and uh, pretty engaging uh, for the instruments so yeah pretty um, natural sounding type of uh, experience for me for the vocals now male vocals they sound better on this im as compared to female vocals i prefer the male vocals uh, even though they are not a very authoritative uh, presence uh, but they sound natural they sound warm they've got good engagement uh, and clean and clear as well uh, and yeah it's overall very casual listening of the male vocals but for female vocals uh, they, they're not very energetic they're not very bitey uh, and not much of a sparkle to the female vocals they sound okay uh, so i would prefer to listen to male vocals on these ims uh, now let's talk about treble. So the gain to the treble, as you can see, right, is not a very bitey, it's not very um, forward uh, and energetic type of uh, treble. So I, you would expect that when you listen to this IM, there's no harshness, uh, there is no bitiness as well, uh, and no sibilance. And it's a bit dark in terms of the treble because it's kind of recessed. Uh, so in terms of the treble is very safe for uh, those sensitive who uh, to treble so if you are really sensitive to treble this is actually a very very good IEM to go for uh, especially it's a pure BA I mean uh, with this kind of tuning right uh, pure BA they deliver that clarity to you without the sibilance and without that harshness right so for uh, treble right in terms of the uh, presence is not very present it's very dark uh, well, not very dark because quite a few IM has got this type of uh, treble as well. So yeah, it's pretty common nowadays to have this type of uh, treble. And then for the presence and the mids treble, as you can see, right, this part here uh, is not sibilant, right? So you won't hear any harshness or any sharp um, sound, especially in songs with the S and the Ts. Uh, they, they sound pretty natural and pretty tolerable okay uh, and uh, yeah it is it's not a very um, bitey as I mentioned type of treble now the roll over the air is pretty natural uh, as compared to some other IMs that I have this roll off is a little bit um, short 
all right, in terms of the roll-off, but they're still okay. Uh, simple strikes in the high hands, they still have that pretty natural roll-off. It's a little bit short though, but extension is, well, it's okay. It's not the best extension also. But overall, I, I, I find that the overall air of the treble is pretty okay. All right, so that's my overall um, impression and um, yeah, of this um, orchestra light. I, I find that uh, in conclusion, this is a, a pair of IEM that requires an acquired taste, right? So uh, in terms of tuning, it's a casual, fun, um, easy to listen to type of listening experience with the clarity and with that um, precision and uh, of uh, delivery of sound. Uh, and you know, you can listen to all kinds of genres except for probably um, female vocals uh, on these IMs, you know, things that has needs a bit more bite, uh, like even for heavy metal and um, trance, that kind of thing, you need to have that treble to uh, give you more of uh, engagement to that track itself. But this one doesn't present the treble in that way, but it's got that clear presentation of that treble. So yeah, so there's a pros and cons to this type of treble. La. So yeah, it's suitable for most um, people, la, for most genre of, of, of uh, songs. Uh, but you know, if you are a critical listener and you want to really focus on listening to your music, then maybe this is not the right one to go for. Uh, but if you like trance, you want to listen to your uh, pop songs and uh, you know, heavy metal or even rock songs. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Right, so that's it for my overall impression and review for this uh, Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light. Uh, and if you learned something from this video or enjoyed watching this video, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Cheers.